Hey there, it's Natural Smarty. Let's go identify one of my favorite tree species, the American beech. This tree is getting a lot of attention lately in research because of beech leaf disease, which was first documented in 2012 in my home state in Lake County, Ohio. This tree is pretty big. It can grow from 70 to 80 feet tall. The diameter at breast height, I've seen two to three feet in diameter. And if we look at these two trees right there, it's the one on the right. It has very smooth, light gray bark, almost white. It has a, it's the only one I can think of that almost has that sheen to it. It's a thin bark. Let's go find some leaves. Best place to find those leaves of a beech tree are in a beech maple forest. Those two species, the sugar maple and American beech, will grow in association with each other. Often one dominating the upper canopy and the other tolerating the shadier understory. They are an eastern tree species. They enjoy ample amounts of water, but they don't necessarily need it. They have a tap root, even though the root system is shallow. Here's some leaves. Beaches and others in its family, like oaks and the American chestnut, have an alternate growth pattern, alternating branches and twigs. The paper thin leaves are twice as long as they are wide, and they have parallel veins that each terminate in a tooth. So the margins of this simple leaf on an American beach are serrate. Once your eyes adjust to that light, smooth gray bark of a beech, you really do start to recognize them everywhere and in any time of year. You can identify this tree in winter. It also holds on with leaves in winter. This is a little odd. It's called marcescence. It'll, it'll hold on to those leaves. They'll turn almost yellow. It's a light tan to yellow. And they'll just wiggle in the wind even when there's snow on the ground. Makes no sense. Before the new leaves sprout in spring, the buds are narrow and they sort of look like miniature cigars. Here's a beach. See, they're all over. Later in the year, the fall mass are going to be these edible nuts. At cross section, they're triangular shaped. They grow in pairs inside of a prickly husk. Good luck finding your own American beach. Have fun out there. <laughs>